Welcome everyone. Welcome to Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Sleepy Hollow, New York, which is really in North Tarrytown, but they changed the name to Sleepy Hollow. We came to Sleepy Hollow Cemetery today to show you some very interesting, very creepy graves and to revisit the Headless Horseman of Sleepy Hollow, written by Washington Irving. Join us, if you dare. So when you come here, you find the road. You come to the office, you get the map. When you take the map, you find the road, you come to the road here, and you look for these petunias. What are these? Uh, begonias, you'll find the wax begonias. And that's when you'll find the, Stacy, what are you doing at Washington Irving's gravesite? I came to say hi. How did you find it? Get out of the way and show them what the, that looks like. You find the fence here, Irving, this is the, encloses the entire Irving family plot. These are all Irvings in here. That tomb back there that says Benedict, that's beyond the little fence. gate fence here, so that's not him. But if you find the headstones, you find the one that is shaped like so. The What would you call that? An arch? Uh, the, the, what's, what's it's shaped? rounded. The, the only, pretty much the only one that's rounded at the top. This one's surrounded by flanked by two American flags put there. And lo and behold, there it is. Washington Irving, born April 3rd, 1783, died November 28th, 1859. I'll be quiet now and let's have a moment of silence. It's a beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees. What is today like? September 21st, 22nd, it is the autumnal equinox. When you come up to the fence right here, you find Irving, don't go in there, but you'll see a plaque placed in 1972. Washington Irving's grave, Irving's home Sunnyside and the old Dutch church of Sleepy Hollow, which Irving immortalized in legend are national historic landmarks. Irving's grave plot, receives perpetual care from local citizens and admirers of the author of the Sleepy Hollow Legends. Plaque placed in 1972. We'll take another look at that. Let's see if we can walk around here. There's some more steps. They've asked us not to go on the grassy areas. They also told us that there'd be two funerals being performed uh, here at the cemetery. We haven't seen that yet, but they said well, if we do see that, to steer clear of that, of course we will. If you look way out beyond, between those trees, you can just make out the brand new Tappan Zee Bridge. And here's some more of Washington Irving's relatives, descendants. Now we're going to take you to the old Dutch church and show you some burial uh, plots of some other people, characters you may know. Stick around. You coming? Coming. This is one. This is one of the Headless Horseman bridges. This is the real one. This is the one, this is the bridge out of town. This is the one that he had to, Ichabod Crane had to get to the, get to the bridge. And as legend had it, once you got to the bridge, the apparition vanished of the Headless Horseman. So he just had to get to the bridge and here it is. Right here, center of town, church up at the top of the hill, bottom down here, the actual bridge. Here it says. Sleepy Hollow Bridge erected to the memory of Washington Irving, 1783 to 19, no, 1859. And here it is. Right by the Sitco station. There's the other side of it. Those chaps are riding along. Me. Probably, no doubt, talking about the legend of Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman. Now, Stacy wanted to know something. You had a question before about this bridge? I said, was this the real one or the fake one? 
There, she, is this the real one or the fake, fake one? one? This is the real one. This is the real one. The fake one well, is in the cemetery. I mean. Come on, I'll show you that too. We're now in the graveyard of the, will you come on? We're in the graveyard of the old Dutch church. I want to show you something. Let's see if I can find it. Stacy, yes. stay close. We're looking for the grave marker of character in the book, character in the book, Katrina Van Tassel. It's a stone that looks something like this with carving on the top. But I saw a photograph that showed that part of the church and the stone is not too far from here. I have not come around yet. I have not searched for this yet. No. Okay, you ready? I found it. Follow me. You know what that is? What? That's a song that's Katrina that oh. Ichabod Crane whistled when he was Bing Crosby in the Disney movie. Oh. Because look who I found right here. Oh. Join us as I read it to you, won't you? It says, it's a damaged stone. They repaired it. The, it's in, it's in Dutch. It's in Dutch, I can't read it, but it says, Katerina Van Tessel. Katerina Van Tessel. Katrina Van Tessel. Mm -hmm. But, but, this Katerina is not who Washington Irving was writing about. This Katerina is uh, the niece of the real Katrina. The real Katrina's name was, uh, I want to say Eleanor. But she's over there. Follow me now. Katerina, we'll be back. Katerina. She's next to a revolutionary war soldier. She is. Yeah. Well, a lot of these people are from that era, you know. Hey, let's take a look. Let's say goodbye to Katrina one more time. I couldn't find her aunt. Katrina's aunt, Katerina's aunt is the one that, basically Washington Irving. Wait, where is it now? We lost her. Here it is. Basically, Washington Irving wrote about the lovely Katrina. He used the niece's name, but he was really talking about the aunt. There is a marker. I'm going to find it, and we'll get back to you. Don't go anywhere. Okay. We haven't found Eleanor yet, but I think I found the grave of the Brom Bones, yes. Brom is short for Abraham, and Brom Bones, the character was based on a guy that Washington Irving knew, whose name was Abraham Martling. And mm. there is the gravestone oh, of one Abraham Martling. I'll get you in closer. Let's see. Brom Bones, the villain in uh, mm. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Not really the villain, he also had an affection for the Katrina, the fair Katrina, who had the fairest ankle in all the land, mm. said. Uh, oh. And Abraham tried to scare Ichabod into uh, making the ride alone through the woods at night, and his mem uh, his, uh, his, uh, the superstitions got the best of him, and he thought he was chased down by the headless horseman. On Yon Bridge, I may add, which is right down there at the bottom of the glen, they're coming here for a there. Is that her? That's her. Do you know I was reading that one when I came in? This is it. This is Eleanor. This is the real Katrina. But they use Katarina's name. But here's her aunt, Eleanor, right here on this 
at this marker. We're we'll looking for this urn, and here it is. Uh, Joshua Brush, Caleb Brush, Caleb Brush. Here it is. I didn't need this sign. Also, Eleanor Van Tassel, his wife, Caleb Brush. Right here. Okay, so we've got at the church. There's the bridge. Here's the church. Here's the graveyard. We have Van Tassels. We have Brom Bones. We've met Washington Irving over on the other side of the hill. I could have saved this a lot of trouble. I only read this. I know. Time. I came up through here. This is the first gravestone we saw, and I didn't read it all the way. Well, now we know. Okay, ready? Yeah. More fun. Don't go away. You heard her ask earlier, is this the fake bridge or the real bridge? We were out in the middle of town, the real bridge, the bridge to Sleepy Hollow into the town. There's the one she was talking about, the fake one. We're here in the cemetery and that's kind of what, what did you say? That's what you wanted the bridge to look like, right? Yes. This is what I want to imagine. Say again? This is what I want to imagine. That the bridge looks like that. We're going to get you closer. I just wanted to show it to you what it looks like in the dead of the middle of the creepy woods. We had to come up here and also pay respects to a hero of mine, Walter P. Chrysler. Anything to add? Uh, and... No, she's got nothing no. to add. Well, okay, <laughs> well, well, Walter P. Chrysler, shh, you'll wake the dead. Okay, we're at the outer reaches, the nether regions of the cemetery. If you look on a map, we're as far away from the entrance as you can possibly be here. And because back here where the tombstone says Graham, come on, I'll take you closer. Walk softly. You may be stepping on somebody. We're looking for the grave of cosmetics heiress, Elizabeth Arden. Elizabeth Arden's name, her real name was, uh, 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 Florence Nightingale Graham. So we found the Graham family plot here. She changed her name to Elizabeth Arden in, for business. And here it is, look, and someone placed, Aww. someone placed a mascara on Elizabeth Arden's grave in tribute. Can you see that? Elizabeth N. Graham is Elizabeth Arden, died 1966. Now, Stacy, will you notice that most of these family members have born date, death date. But look at Elizabeth N. Graham, N. is Nightingale. The 1966, they only put her death date up because Elizabeth Arden was famous for being secretive about her age. So out of respect Aww. for her, they didn't tell you how old she was. Elizabeth Arden, right here, Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. There are a host, a plethora of other interesting, notable uh, grave sites here, but it would take many, many days to cut through all of it. I wanted to show you the Headless Horseman, Washington Irving, Sleepy Hollow stuff, and then some of my bigger favorite guys like Walter P. Chrysler, the Rockefellers are here, Samuel Gompers here, here are the other tourists, they've been following us around. Stacy, I'm coming. Ready to go? Yes. Okay. Elizabeth Arden, right? Where? It says Graham. Uh -huh. And someone, not us, placed a mascara tube on the Thank you. tombstone. <laughs> I noticed you following us. We're following you. We're so like I think we're doing the same the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so have a great day. It's right yeah. back in the center. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. If I see you in a cemetery, I'll help you out too. Well, that's it from Sleepy Hollow, New York. Did you have a good time? Yes. We went to the old Dutch church. We visited the Van Tassels. We visited Brom Bones. We did not see the Headless Horseman this time. But in like another month, it's gonna be Halloween and who knows. And we visited some other ghosts, or at least we tried to. So when hinges creak in Darla's chambers and candlelights flicker and the air is deathly still, that is the time when ghosts are present. From Sleepy Hollow, New York, sleep tight.